When the Clippers got bounced in the second round, I felt happiness. This is the equal joy that I feel right now. My state of mind right now, is this what happiness feels like? Positive energy. I hope y'all had a good day. Hope y'all having a great week. Hope y'all having a good month. Because I am. The Lakers are in the finals. And I remember when y'all said the Blazers had Damian Lillard. Best eighth seed ever. We gonna get bounced out. I remember that. I remember in the Houston Rockets series, they have two MVPs in the backcourt. PJ Tucker holding down AD. I remember that. I remember when Jokic better than AD. Denver is a deeper team. They have better chemistry. I remember that. Y'all said Nuggets in seven. Lakers in five, nigga. I remember when Jordan Clarkson was seen as a franchise player for the Lakers, and I believed it. I remember that. When they had Wayne Ellington starting, Ryan Kelly, Tariq Black, Robert Saker. I remember watching those games. <laughs> I remember when we traded Lonzo and Brandon Ingram and I was pissed off. I don't care no more. We about to win. I remember looking at D'Angelo Russell, Julius Randle, and Jordan Clarkson as a new big three in the NBA, the young core. Y'all remember that? I remember that. All these players can't play defense. Only D'Lo has led himself to an all-star trajectory. I remember all that. And I said a lot of takes that I'm going to own up to that LeBron couldn't win us in the finals because he's too old. You know what I'm saying? He was 34 coming into the season with the Lakers for, for the first time. He looked like he lost a step. He didn't really feel like he was trying to win a championship. He was trying to make some movies. I said that. I admit that. I was wrong. You know what I'm saying? I own up to my mistakes. But now we win it. The Lakers have opportunity to win maybe since 2010, because nothing can replace 2010 in my eyes, you know what I'm saying? In the modern era, the best season in Lakers history. Think about the trials and tribulations. And I'm not going to talk about Kobe's death. You know what I'm saying? Kobe's death, that's that's not a narrative you can paint because Kobe's death affected everybody, including opposing players. Giannis, James Harden, Russell Westbrook, everybody. So it's not just a Laker thing. LeBron, 35. 17th season can win a championship. That's amazing. AD, who they said injury prone. Had good stats, we can't win. LeBron has never played with a big man. I don't know how they, how the chemistry is gonna fit. I remember y'all saying this. We don't have no guards. We're giving Alex Caruso minutes. We have a lot of players can prove people wrong. Dwight Howard, we hated Dwight Howard in 2013, 2014. We hated him. I actually love Dwight Howard now. We can get rings for guys who never even thought of getting a ring. We're battling the disease, COVID, the bubble. You know what I'm saying? We was the first seed in the West with no home court advantage. We have an opportunity to prove everybody wrong. And if we go against the Heat, it's going to really be bad. LeBron versus Pat Riley. Pat Riley was kind of irritated that, you know what I'm saying, LeBron left, but he understood it. LeBron's former team that he first won his first rings on. The tough, grueling Heat. And don't let us play the Celtics. This is going to really be bad. It's going to really be bad. Lakers, Celtics, 10-year anniversary. Lakers and foe. Lakers and foe just off the fact that we they can't touch us. The Celtics haven't won a championship. Celtics have won one championship since Jim Crow. Oh, five to 11. <sighs> Lakers won. Lakers going to the finals. Lakers are going to the finals. I can't believe it. I am. I am astonished. I am pleased. I am happy. I am. I'm feeling joy in my heart. Congratulations to the Denver Nuggets. Congratulations to all the teams we face. I remember y'all was my comments saying the Lakers going to lose this game. We got every single team out in five games. Just a little, in the one game, which is a little warm up for the Lakers. You know what I'm saying? But now, we on niggas' heads. It's no warm up now in the finals. Brown don't take no days off. AD not going to take no days off with a broken ankle. And man, bro, shout out to LeBron. Lily going ape shit in the last three minutes of the game. Hitting mid-range after mid-range like he was Jordan. Like he was Kobe. Hitting threes. That's what I like to see. LeBron is the best when he takes, when he turns into a three-level scorer. When he doesn't just straight shoot long threes and drive, and actually some mid-range post fadeaways. That's a hard LeBron to stop, a very hard one. Having a 35-point triple-double, the second Laker to do that. The first one was James Worthy. Shout out to James Worthy. Then shout out to AD. Y'all can talk about his rebounding stats. I don't give a damn about no rebounding. We got, we too big. We don't need no rebounding. Shout out to AD. Every time the Nuggets made a run, you stopped it with a cold hearted three twice. Blocking shots. Michael Porter Jr., don't you ever try to attempt. Ever in your life. This is not college. This is not high school. Play some defense. Young blood.
You get it next year, but the Lakers get it this year. We not wait no more. I'm tired of the rebuilding process. We not wait no more. This is greatness that we witnessing. We is not the Pistons. We is not the, the Wizards. We want greatness. That be all for this video, bro. Make sure you like, subscribe.